So good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Rohit Katwal, and we have with us today Indrajit, who has written uh, three or four very famous books about trading. And today, specifically, I have invited him um, for a you know webinar on RSI strategy that he personally uses. I requested him that जो हमारे व्यूअर्स हैं उनके साथ कोई एक ऐसी स्ट्रेटजी शेयर करो जिनको वो अपनी पर्सनल ट्रेडिंग में भी यूज कर सकते हैं एंड दैट इज द सोल मोटिव ऑफ डूइंग दिस वेबिनार टू शेयर विद अवर व्यूअर्स सम एक्शनेबल स्ट्रेटजीज जिनका उनको बेनिफिट हो सके सो विदाउट वेटिंग मच इंद्रजीत ओवर टू यू लेट स्टार्ट ओके थैंक्स रोहित थैंक्स फॉर हैविंग मी वी कैन स्टार्ट so this is the disclaimer uh, you sh people should use this only for educational purpose and uh, they they can back test this strategy before implementing or before taking trades in the live market abhi uh, uh, rohit we will discuss like a uh, uh, two traders we can also discuss in english and hindi right because if we speak in hindi it will reach more people uh, from my experience so uh, english or hindi mein baat karenge a ek strategy hai rohit ek intraday strategy hai uska accuracy hai 60% percent hai प्रॉफिट फैक्टर मैक्सिमम ड्रॉडाउन है और सक्सेसिव लूजिंग ट्रेड्स एट है सो कंसीडरिंग ऑल दिस पैरामीटर्स डू यू थिंक इज इट अ प्रॉफिटेबल इंटरडे स्ट्रेटजी राइट आई थिंक इट इज इट इज राइट ओके so even in my opinion considering any other minor uh, you know factors it is a profitable intraday strategy okay so let's say tomorrow you have this strategy and you give this strategy to someone else ek lady hai us lady ko aap isi strategy ko as it is share karte ho do you think she will make money um as a trader uh, what you have shown me in the previous slide theek hai it has a accuracy of 60% and it has a profit uh, profit factor of 1.6 theek hai yes. so yes. as long as the accuracy is above 50% and this profit factor is above 1 Yes. I think they should remain profitable. Okay. Point so, is, point is that um, uh, from my perspective, uh -huh. uh, after running algorithms and systematic systems for such a long time, मुझे ये लगता है कि एक ही इसके अंदर ही चाहिए कि उनको run करना पड़ेगा. True, true. My point is, let's say she don't run it as an algo strategy. She use it in a discretionary manner. Okay. उसको discretionary use कर कर वो use करती है. Let's assume this strategy will also give the same results, you know, future का market में भी. लेकिन do you think she will remain, you know, uh, profitable using this strategy? I think she should. Okay. But in my experience, no, right? Okay. मैं इधर दूसरा रोना चाहता हूँ क्योंकि uh, whatever the strategy you share. uh people will not be able to make money most people i will not say everyone most people will not be able to make money because un logo ka mind pe wo conviction nahi hota hai let's say you have a conviction on the strategy after the back testing right they have not done the hard work isliye un logo ka mind pe wo conviction nahi rehta hai they will not be able to hold the trade so that that itself is a number one problem and number 2 money management rules so as per the system whatever the profit factor whatever the accuracy i have shown there there will be a money management rules right maybe risking 1% or maybe risking 0.5% per trade etc definitely most people will not be able to stick to that money management rule hai na absolutely and also the trialing stop loss this is where i have noticed most of the beginners or even experienced trader will face a lot of problem लेट्स से आज ट्रेंडिंग मार्केट है मार्केट ऊपर जा रहा है डू यू थिंक मोस्ट पीपल विल बी एबल टू राइट द प्रॉफिट स्टिल द एंड ऑफ द डे और एटलीस्ट टू ओ क्लॉक टू थर्टी थ्री ओ क्लॉक आई डोंट थिंक सो बिकॉज वंस द प्रॉफिट स्टार्ट किकिंग इन देर इज एन सडन अर्ज की हमें प्रॉफिट लेके बाहर निकलना है सो ट्रेडिंग इज अ वेरी टफ टास्क yes and also their past experiences like probably they would have tried to carry the profits it would have came back hit the stop loss and gone down right so those kind of past experiences haunt them and they will not be able to ride the profits till the end of the day that is also a problem hai aur baad mein exit rules so probably in the strategy or any strategy there will be exit rules like exit rules like fixed exit rule maybe one is to one to or uh, trailing stop loss or partial exit or partial carry us tarah exit rules hota hai and most people in my experience they will not be able to follow that exit rule as it is and our ek strange baat hai ki most people in my experience they will take the proper entry most people entry leta hai lekin wo trade carry karne ke liye aur exit karne ke liye they will face lot of problems and they lose money do you agree right 
या बिकॉज समवेयर जब ट्रेड स्टार्ट हो जाती है ना तो वो एक तरीके से टिकिंग टाइम बॉम्ब बन जाता है एवरी टेक यू स्टार्ट गेटिंग हार्ट अटैक की क्या होने लगा है नेक्स्ट मोमेंट के ऊपर आई विल टेल यू पर्सनल टेल हेयर मैंने पिछले एक साल से मोमेंटम ट्रेडिंग स्टार्ट कर दी थी ठीक है आई ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू डू इट की इक्विटीज बाय करनी है और उनको लंबे टाइम के प्रॉफिट के लिए लेके जाना है साथ में आई एम टॉकिंग फ्रॉम अ पोजिशनल परसपेक्टिव वट आई फाउंड आउट इज जब मैं इवॉल्व कर रहा था ट्रेडिंग के अंदर मेरे स्टॉप लॉस होते थे लेट से फाइव टेन परसेंट के पहले मुझे होता था कि अगर मेरा दो तीन परसेंट का प्रॉफिट भी बन जाए ना तो आई एम गुड विद इट ठीक है स्लोली एंड स्टेडली आई सो कि जो मैं ट्रेड्स ले रहा हूँ दे आर मेकिंग अ जंप ऑफ फिफ्टी सिक्सटी परसेंट एंड आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग थ्री परसेंट आउट ऑफ इट फिर मैंने उसको धीरे धीरे इंक्रीज किया मैं टेन परसेंट प्रॉफिट लेना शुरू किया ठीक है फिर थोड़ी सी हैबिट बनी तो अब आई हैव गॉन टू टेकिंग आउट प्रॉफिट ऑफ थर्टी टू फोर्टी परसेंट फॉर ट्रेड सो आई थिंक एज अ ट्रेडर जैसे जैसे उनको इसके अंदर कन्विक्शन आएगी दे विल बी मच बेटर प्लेस टू टेक बैक प्रॉफिट्स और उसको ट्रेल करने में आई थिंक सो हाँ करेक्ट यू आर परफेक्टली करेक्ट राइट सो दैट्स वेयर समवेयर आई फील अनलेस ए पर्सन इज आलगो ट्रेडर वी शुड शेयर ओनली द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द स्ट्रैटेजी मनी मैनेजमेंट एंड वी कैन गिव लिटल आइडिया अबाउट हाउ टू ट्रायल द स्टॉप लॉस और हाउ टू मैनेज दर एग्जिट इवन इफ यू शेयर द एंटायर स्ट्रैटेजी एज इट इज मैं पहले भी शेयर कर चुका हूँ बट पीपल विल नॉट बी एबल टू मैनेज द ट्रेड ये ये सभी यू नो प्रॉब्लम उन लोगों का दिमाग में आता है सो वॉट दे हैव टू डू इज दे नीड टू बैक टेस्ट इट इवन दो इट इज अ प्रॉफिटेबल स्ट्रैटेजी माई सेशन इज दे नीड टू बैक टेस्ट इट एटलीस्ट फॉर फाइव सिक्स ईयर्स ऑफ डाटा एंड देन दे शुड डेवलप देर ओन ट्रायलिंग स्टॉप लॉस का रूल्स एंड देन प्रॉपर एग्जिट मेथड इस इस यू नो विदाउट डेवलपिंग दीज स्टेप्स anybody will not be able to you know survive or make profits in the market right do you agree yeah absolutely okay so going forward again as i said trading strategy develop karna hai there should be clear rules for entry stop loss and exit money management be you know rules should be very proper how much risk to per trade whether it is 0.5% or 1% per trade you know in in my experience you should not go more than 2% you know most beginners start with risking 5% or 10% of their capital in one trade that is too much of risk and again trading psychology calmness and confidence to execute the trades and trusting the system is the most important thing right this is from my experience and uh, before i get into the system or strategy part right it's a very you know common uh, uh, thing i want to share so uh, mo- with with us mo- what happens is most of us we believe the quotes as it is you know whenever we hear the quotes from traders or investors or experts we believe we believe it as it is and we don't validate it so ye ek uh, you know quote hai na famous quote amateurs open the market or uh, uh professionals close the market what do you think about this quote right it's absolutely true i have made my biggest losses in the you know opening hours of the market mm. either it be the adjustment cost either it will it be entering the trade early mm. so what i have experienced is whatever time frame you are trading in mm. you have to take your trade when the market is actually closing when that particular candle is closing so now that is what i try okay from intraday pre- trading perspective or uh, momentum trading perspective right uh, from momentum from intraday also i have what i have seen is that the first hour is where usually you know uh, you can get a particular trade right but after that matlab jo 10:30 baje se leke 2:30 baje tak ka period start ho jata hai that's just whipsaw hmm uh again uh, i agree partially right uh, what happens is again you know anybody can make money uh, with a proper strategy with a you know proper entry time you know even they can take trade at 9:30 or early part of the market open and they can make money and even they can make money after 10 10:30 10, so the strategies are different right but here me kya kehna chahta hu ki we just see the first candle of the market and we just see what happened at a particular day and we'll also go through with the live charts and then we can think it is not about uh, you know uh, strategy this is not a strategy this is not taking the entry we just an observation to validate the quote is it okay right okay okay see uh, uh, before i go further right do you agree these are bullish candles from one candle perspective oh uh, this is a bullish candle right this is a bullish candle this is actually a bullish continuation for me okay. second one is also a bullish candle okay okay what about this this gets a little weaker but still uh with bigger chart perspective there can be some bullishness in it okay 
तो माय पॉइंट इज वेरी सिंपल राइट हियर से हियर तक ये बाइंग बिक है ना हम्म या इट इज बाइंग एक्जेक्टली 70 75% बाइंग बाइंग है दिस इज सो ओवरऑल इट इज अ बाइंग कैंडल डू यू एग्री या ओके हियर ये भी राइट या इट 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 इज बाइंग इट इज बाइंग दिस इज बाइंग राइट या ओके सो नेक्स्ट सिमिलर थिंग ये सेलिंग कैंडल है मेरे लिए या सेलिंग कैंडल है ये पूरा सेलिंग कैंडल है ना या so now this is i think last week uh, uh, charter right because i prepared this ppt last week okay. so uh, we just observe the first candle this is 15 minute chart right 950 okay. so whatever the highlighted is a uh, 950 the first candle we will see first candle and we will see what happened on that particular day okay so first candle right buying week bhi hai selling week bhi hai hai na indecisive indecisive What happened on the particular day? Price upper चला गया, बाद में नीचे चला गया. Yeah. इसी उम्मोय हुए हैं ना? Yeah. So ये selling selling candle है ना? Yeah. पूरा sideways चला गया. पूरा sideways चला गया. Yes. ये buying candle है ना? First candle. Yeah. So what happened on that day? Upper चला गया. Market upper चली गई वहाँ से. ये buying candle है ना? Yeah. So ये upper चला गया, बाद में sideways पे आकर उधर ही close हो गया. That's a different story. या yeah. ये बाइंग और सेलिंग दोनों है ना विरोध इट इज अ मिक्स टाइप ऑफ कैंडल मिक्स्ड ओके सो ये नीचे से इधर आकर क्लोज हो गया नीचे भी गया ऊपर भी गया है ना या yeah. ये बाइंग कैंडल है ना या yeah. सो so, ये ऊपर चला गया बाद में वापस आ गया अगेन इट बोन्स बैक फ्रॉम द सेम लेवल है ना या सो ये सेलिंग कैंडल है ना या yeah. नीचे आ गया ये इंडेसिसिव है ना दो या ट्रू ट्रू सेंटर्स हो गया सो डू यू थिंक समवेयर इन द फर्स्ट कैंडल मार्केट इज गिविंग ए क्लू अबाउट द मूव ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर डे राइट आई थिंक इट इज अप टू 60 70% इट इज ट्राइंग टू टेल अस समथिंग यस करेक्ट राइट दिस इज अगेन नॉट अ स्टॉक एक्चुअली दिस इज फिन निफ्टी ओके या सो स्टॉक्स को मैनिपुलेट कर सकते हैं लोग बट इंडेक्स को मुश्किल है ना या so we will see one more thing this is i think this is nifty actually again 15 minute ka chart hai last week ka okay so a buying candle hai na yeah upar chala gaya niche bhi aa gaya it's a different story but main move is also upside right i think more will depend upon how the market develops after that but initially we get we get an idea ki ha yes yes, yes. so this is bearish candle hai sideways chala gaya okay. this is an exception this is also a little exception that's fine okay but chart ko as it is present karna chahta hu ठीक है है ना या ये ऊपर चला गया दिस इज बुलिश कैंडल हाँ ये बुलिश कैंडल है ऊपर चला गया प्राइस करेक्ट या दिस इज बुलिश कैंडल है ऊपर चला गया ये बुलिश कैंडल है एक्चुअली बट दिस इज एन एक्सेप्शन ये नीचे आ गया या अगेन दिस इज ए बुलिश कैंडल ये ऊपर चला गया बेरिश कैंडल है नीचे चला गया so i will take one more i think stock this is a tcs actually tcs aap mante ho na bada stock hai nifty mein yeah so again uh, bearish candle hai niche aa gaya bullish candle hai upar chala gaya ye uh, you know semi bearish hai i mean it's, semi it's bearish. type of a do- doji actually because yeah, uh, yeah. half selling hai half buying hai so it's no way thoda buying aa gaya thoda selling aa gaya hmm. ye buying candle hai upar chala gaya ye bhi buying candle hai upar chala gaya baad mein sideways aa gaya ये डोजी है इंडिसिसिव पूरा सेड था ये सेलिंग कैंडल था थोड़ा सा सो समवेयर डू यू फील फर्स्ट कैंडल इज गिविंग ए क्लू राइट इट इज इट इज ओके देन हु विल ओपन द मार्केट राइट अमेचर्स ओपन द मार्केट और प्रोफेशनल्स ओपन द मार्केट इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू से देन या एज पर द कोट एज पर द कोट इफ अमेचर्स आर डूइंग दिस देन Uh, you know price should have gone in the opposite direction right yeah uh, i mean i am not saying you know you should reject the court as it is at least there should be some doubts in your mind to trust the court right it is actually you know very very difficult to say to some extent because you know uh समवेयर मार्केट के अंदर उस टाइम पे एक तो प्रीवियस uh, जो आफ्टर मार्केट ऑर्डर्स होते हैं नौ बज के सात मिनट वाले वो पड़े होते हैं समवेयर डैट डिसाइड्स देन यू नो देर आर सम बिग प्लेयर्स हु माइट बी डूइंग सम यू नो एग्जिट एंट्री बट आई थिंक दैट पर्टिकुलर कोड दैट अमेच्योर्स ओपन द मार्केट 
is not true entirely hmm. i think it is more towards ki jo first initial ask ke andar trade hoti hai that's where the amateurs are because hmm. as soon as the market opens they want to jump in actually hmm hmm i think so, that's what it means yeah my point is very simple right uh, if there is an opportunity if whether it is an amateur or professional think that they can uh, gain from that opportunity they will enter at 915 that's what i am trying to say i have one question you have intentionally not taken into consideration the volumes here yes definitely okay, <laughs> okay. okay. i mean uh, i can talk about one hour uh, for not considering volume right but uh, i mean i just wanted to understand I, i just i just had this particular query in mind because you also understand it some way that also plays See, see very simple again uh, i have a different perspective about volume using in intraday level i understand that thing uh, and and I, i'm going to finish what you are saying okay does it somewhere has to do with the fact ki as an intraday trader or as a trader uh, aapne volume isliye nahi dala because hame price se matlab hai if it is going up hame price se matlab hai correct. agar upar ja raha hai to hame volume dekh ke kya karna hai us cheez ke upar correct i mean that i have one more reason for not using volume let's mm-hmm. say one volume means one buying one selling aap mante ho na yeah okay let's say ye ghar pe uh, 100 siblings hai b1 b2 b3 like b100 tak hai main ek company ka share ka you know ek share leta hu aur i will sell it to b2 b2 leta hai then he will sell it to b3 it goes like this till b100 volume kitna hota hai right uh it's just transferred from one person to another person so every buyer has one seller so that's all it again yeah volume 100 hota hai theek hai na volume 100 hota hai yeah volume 100 but what is the real demand right that can be only known at the end of the day when we get ki kitne shares jo hai wo hold hue hain i mean i mean it is from uh, 100 brothers actually it is only one demand right? one share jo idhar udhar hua hai har jagah ha sirf one but volume 100 dikhata hai volume 100 dikhata hai so yeah. sometimes volume can deceive us okay so people say right you know if the price is going up with increase in volume it is bullish i may manta nahi usko kyunki okay. price can go up without increase in volume as well okay it's yeah not... it's true it's true it's true theek hai na so that's why and especially when it comes to intraday trading we are splitting into you know 5 minutes or 15 minute chart so we don't know which is high volume which is low volume yeah yeah that is my point so i completely depend upon price part to take the trade intraday trades bhav bhagwan hai bhav bhagwan hai <laughs> so chal aage badhte hain rohit yeah okay if i if i have created little doubts in your mind regarding amateurs open the market you know my explanation is successful right that's what i think okay yeah hi guys aap yahan tak pahunche ho to i hope that you are liking the video The reason we are sharing these videos is so that trading community can get some strategies which are implementable in the live market. Most of the strategies that we see on YouTube are always very basic and uh, practically not working in the live market. That is why we are bringing the real traders uh, and shooting some great content with them. The only way you can support us is by liking the videos, by putting your comments and sharing it with the fellow traders and also do subscribe to our YouTube channel. to show your support to us thank you so now uh, with respect to this uh, rohit we are discussing rsi uh, rsi is one of the famous momentum indicator so there is a big uh, or famous concept of overbought and oversold uh, concept in rsi rsi is famous for two concepts one is overbought and oversold another one is the divergences right yeah so here we are talking about only overbought and oversold condition so is kehta hai anything above 70 is over bought and we should look for uh, short trades and anything uh, no 30 is oversold we should look for long trades it is okay na that's what yeah. rs that's that's a normal thinking traditional definition says right but rsi can stay above 70 in a strong uptrend right do you know this i th- i'm i'm sure most traders know this right yeah usually they wait for some bearish confirmation to take a short trade right yeah so either se either either se rsi 670 ke upar chala gaya if they are looking for some bearish confirmation like this like this like this so i mean i don't know it depends upon their strategy they would have lost the trades right yeah 
my point is rsi can stay above 70 for a longer duration yeah. if you take a stock which is in strong uptrend rsi 70 ke upar hi rehta hai it will not come down yeah correct right similarly in a strong downtrend ye 30 ke niche rehta hai rsi yes so this is my observation about rsi but we can use rsi in a better way so by modifying it to 40 60 rule so okay. we can consider anything above 60 as bullish rsi above 60 is bullish and anything rsi below 40 is bearish and anything in between 40 and 60 sideways range okay so is tarah rules ko hum apply kar sakte hai i i read it in uh, uh, one of the book written by john hayden mai ant pe wo reference deta hu so after uh, you know using that strategy i felt this is really good because hame option selling karna hai to hum isko use kar sakte hai 46 okay. use kar sakte hai options buying karna hai to again we can use this or this based on the trading part so now uh, you can see it very clearly right you know from either se uptrend chala gaya 60 dekho ye pura you know uh, uptrend pe chala gaya ye bearish hai na ye dekhiye idhar se oh, 40 i mean 40 ke niche aa gaya it is completely stayed bearish yes does it make any sense right yes it is okay it is so and most of the time if you check the 60 breakout most of the times it comes with a uh, trend line breakout as well it associate with a trend line breakout okay so you can see this is a trend line right uh for those of you who are new here uh this is the signature move of indrajit <laughs> okay. he, he has discussed a lot about it in his book and i almost always see his tweets where he is putting this particular trend line so i can guess where you are going with this yeah i mean what excited now i mean you will be surprised if i share the story of writing that book right i okay. mean i was teaching breakout the trading system to couple of people you know okay. different backgrounds say you know they are you know 50 plus who is, is a government employee you know they were from different background so this is covid se pehle ho gaya uh, you know mai the explanation de raha tha so they were asking same doubts again and again again and again mai positional breakout trading system you know teach kar raha tha so mujhe laga probably i will prepare a pdf document मेरा कॉन्सेप्ट को एक्सप्लेन कर कर बाद में लास्ट चैप्टर में आई विल पुट ऑल द क्यू एंड एयर सो दैट दे विल नॉट दे शुड नॉट कम बैक टू मी दे शुड रेफर द डॉक्यूमेंट सो इसकी वजह से मैं एक बुक को प्रिपेयर किया एंड आई गिव द पीडीएफ डॉक्यूमेंट टू देम सो वन पर्सन सजेस्टेड मी टू पब्लिश इट एज अ बुक देन मुझे लगा उस जमाने पे प्रोबेबली यू नो पब्लिश करने पे लिए यू नो विश नो ट्रेडिशनल पब्लिकेशन ना हम लोग हम लोग की तरफ नहीं देख रहा था वी शुड डिपेंड अपन exactly publication mode and self publication mode cost karta hai na you know, there is a fee actually yeah and that was only 72 page ka book tha choti si book tha breakout trading so i didn't wanted to spend money on that so that's why i published it on amazon kindle pe actually you know i came to know about amazon kindle during that time so i published it as a ebook actually baad mein you know good people like san harneet you know, they started sharing the book and it became a hit actually so that that is the true reason actually i wrote it for very few people uh, so that they should not come back to me with the more questions that was the idea <laughs> but 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 it's very simply written it's very simply put through so it yeah. makes a lot of sense i still remember that particular quote you have about a chicken who is moving out of its you know line and then coming back again <laughs> right <Yeah. laughs> chalo okay so coming back to this right what i'm trying to say is it most of the times it aligns with the trend line breakout as well if they use rsi Okay. So, by using this strategy, I mean, uh, we can also uh, use this concept in intraday trading. We can also use this concept in BTST. We can also use this concept in positional trading. Suppose, I mean, intraday trading me use करना है तो we can depend upon fifty minute chart. So, for BTST के लिए we can use thirty minute or sixty minute का chart time frame. And for uh, you know positional trading, we can use daily charts. Okay. So, same concept apply करता है. so they see here this is a trend line and again exactly on this particular candle it break the trend line again in the same candle usi candle pe rsi 60 ke upar hai dekho 65 yeah. 60 usi candle pe aa gaya so in this way you know people can make use of rsi in a better way but there is a slight problem when using uh, this concept in intraday trading because uh, a few years back i shared a uh, strategy based on this it had around 50% accuracy if i remember correct and profit factor of 1.5 right 
सो आई आई डिफाइंड आई एक्सप्लेन कंप्लीट रोल्स एक्सिट रोल्स कितना है मनी मैनेजमेंट रोल्स कितना है नो एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग आई यूज द एटी आर टू पॉइंट फाइव टाइम एक्स एटी आर सो फॉर ट्रेलिंग स्टॉप लॉस आई एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग बट स्टिल देर इज स्लाइट प्रॉब्लम विद द स्ट्रैटेजी द प्रॉब्लम इज समाइम्स क्या होता है ना राइट ये आर एस आई ना स्लाइटली सिक्सटी के ऊपर जाता है और वापस आ जाता है एंड हियर ऑल्सो हियर ऑल्सो हियर ऑल्सो स्पेशली होल्ड गुड इन इंट्राड इलेवन फिफ्टी मिनट चार टाइम फ्रेम पे सो विस्ट लॉट ऑफ फॉल्स सिग्नल्स सो अभी वी कैन अवॉइड दिस इश्यू यूजिंग ए सिंपल मूविंग एवरेज सो फाइव मूविंग एवरेज एन आर एस आई इट स्मूथ एंड आर एस आई कर एंड वी विल अवॉइड द फॉल्स सिग्नल्स ये सेम चार्ट है पुराना चार्ट था ना वो फॉल्स सो सेम चार्ट है देखो इधर अवॉइड हो गया दिस इज नॉट एन आर एस आई दिस इज आर एस आई एम ए फाइव मूविंग एवरेज ओके we have that setting in uh, uh, in most of the charting platforms even right. in i can right. i can show it if you want so you, yeah. i think you should show it because yeah. even this is a this is very good thing to avoid noise i think so even yeah. i use it on uh, uh, bigger time frames what okay. i simply do is i put an ema on the rs side yes okay yes. but i think this smoothing is much better way hai na yes. you should show the settings once Yes, yes. It is very simple. Anyway, I will be using it most of the time. Can you see it, right? Yeah. I will remove it and then my bad. Me or one more add. Karta hu. Okay. So what I do is I will go to indicators. This is on trading view RSI. This default. Eh? So by default they have many uh, parameters. Yeah. So go to settings. Uh, go to settings inputs pe a uh, ma length should be 5 okay and just show the ma uh, this yellow color line hai na i think by default they are 14 so 5 is enough for us because 14 zyada time bahut zyada ho jayega bahut zyada ho jayega 5 is enough for us last 5 is more than enough wo smooth karne ke liye aur style pe ja kar i will remove rsi because ye rsi line nahi chahiye mujhe rsi ma chahiye yeah अगर हम लोग आर एस आई को एज अड देखे ना तो उसके ऊपर बहुत शार्प मूव्स आते हैं वो एक मिनट के लिए 55 पे जाएगा एंड द सेकंड मोमेंट इट इज एट 48 गिवन हाउ द वॉलेटिलिटी इन द मार्केट इज एंड इन दैट केस आई थिंक दिस एमए इज गुड बिकॉज ये क्या करेगा कि रादर देन टेकिंग 55 टू नेक्स्ट 48 55 50 48 फिफ्टी और लेट से 47 इन तीनों की चारों पांचों की वैल्यूज देगा उसको एवरेज करेगा और उसको एज अ स्मूथ लाइन वहां पे प्लॉट कर देगा इट इज स्टिल द आर एस आई बट जस्ट एन एवरेज ऑफ द लास्ट फाइव आई विल डू थिंग आई विल ऑल्सो प्लॉट आर एस आई थिनर लाइन पे वी कैन सी हाउ इट स्मूथ एंड साउट यू कैन सी इट या इधर अवॉइड हो गया इधर भी अवॉइड हो गया सो इस तरह बहुत सारे जगह पे अवॉइड होता है ठीक है आगे चल या सो विल कमिंग बैक टू दिस राइट Okay, so this is same chart. I mean, we can also use nine. We can also use five. So me five use kar raha hu. Okay. So option selling karna hai to we can do this. If the RSI is within forty sixty rule, we can you know people can plan to sell options. If it is uh, RSI is breaking above sixty or below forty, they can plan to buy options. Again, options buying karne ke liye people should know how to manage time decay. so this is where many people struggle a lot so what they do is aaj thursday hai rsi 60 ke upar break ho raha hai nifty expiry hai so people will buy call option and simply you know otm call option that too and they will wait and you know even though the price goes up little bit they lose money because time decay will always be working against them so one simple uh, modification what they can do if they Prefer to do options buying means now option selling definitely they can do it. It's not a problem. When I say option selling, sixty k upper break ho raha hai to abhi directional option selling they can do it right. They can sell put option. 
so they can you know start a car sakte but if they want to do options buying only then there are few precautions they have to take one is you know do options buying with in the money or uh, at the money right right so what em i don't suggest actually that okay. to what em buying you know it's, it's it's suicide thing you know you don't make money out of it so yeah. number two you instead of uh, buying this week option you can buy next week option so in that way uh, our time decay both uh, impact it will be very less right in if you, if they do next week uh, options buying right next week strike price you might be knowing this very well because can i know, add can i add my one bit here uh, i absolutely agree with your word that you know if you're buying options and if you're buying it in the current week the running week Uh-huh. you are going to be impacted by the theta d decay a lot okay right now what i'm doing is i'm just sharing one practical stuff okay uh, rather than even buying the next week option hmm. i usually go for a next month nifty or bank nifty option because one it is liquid hmm. and second uh, even if you know there is a little volatility and market goes here and there okay. uske upar itni jaldi jaldi theta decay nahi hota but mm-hmm. i am talking from from a perspective where i you know hold overnight buying positions also and i haven't hit a stop loss on that thing because then we just avoid the volatility part jo ye log karte hain na ki gap down kar do gap up kar do but theta decay dimag mein se nikal jata hai so yeah mm-hmm. that going into the monthly options is a very good idea yes or yes. A, or a next week options yeah my, i mean that was my third point actually so for buying karna hai to next week ka contract buy karo yeah us mahine ka monthly options ka contract buy karo so the time decay impact will be very less and third part is you should not risk entire money uh, you know on the, on the particular trade so yeah. what happens is if they if a person has 1 lakh uh, you know capital so that invest you know 25000 or 50000 in one trade by any chance if it comes back and they will not even place a stop loss and they will hold इंद्रा एक चीज को आपने टेस्ट करना है व्हेन यू ट्रेड योर सेल्फ दिस इज जस्ट माय थॉट और आपने इसको टेस्ट करना है एंड व्हेन एवर वी टॉक नेक्स्ट टाइम यू शेयर इट विद मी ठीक है आई हैव अ सर्टेन फीलिंग बिकॉज आई डू कैलेंडर्स अ लॉट ठीक है व्हाट आई फील इज दैट ऑन थर्सडे व्हेन यू नो वी आर ट्रांजिशनिंग फ्रॉम वन एक्सपायरी टू अनदर एक्सपायरी फॉर एग्जांपल फ्रॉम वेडनेसडे सो अगर आज मान लो 14 फरवरी की एक्सपायरी टुडे इज नॉट 14 टुडे इज 18th बट लेट्स से आज एक्सपायरी है 18th को we will certainly not buy options for 18th expiry because today is the expiry theta mm. decay is almost going to be very mm. uh, high mm. what i have seen is on the expiry day even the next week option the the one that is coming just up ahead mm. uske upar bhi theta decay bahut zyada hota hai aap mujhe batana ek bari i feel like that mm-hmm. i have seen uh, next week options deteriorating a lot at that particular time mm. so might be better to go for let's say monthly option that time yes yes main isko agree karta hu right maine check kiya hu ye agree karta hu a lekin is week ke contract buy karne se zyada better next week contract buy karna hai na <laughs> yeah 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 people yeah, not okay. that's all that's always true that's always true yeah people not even agree to it they look for hero or zero trade ah <laughs> <laughs> that's where i'm coming from i mean whatever you are saying i completely agree May i absolutely... sit in himachal pradesh okay i have never wanted to go out okay. and now the people are getting educated and uh, they flock my office they want to learn options and the first question is sir aap option buying sikhate ho huh. and i have come to a point where somebody asking me ki sir aap uh, trading sikhate ho main seedha bol deta hu ऑप्शन बाइंग करनी है और यू आर आस्किंग अबाउट लर्निंग ट्रेडिंग इन हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम इट्स ऑप्शन बाइंग एंड माय सिंपल टू सेंस आर गो बॉस इट्स ऑलवेज इन्वेस्टमेंट देन स्विंग ट्रेडिंग देन इंट्राडे ट्रेडिंग वंस यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस देन देन इट इज फ्यूचर एंड इन द लास्ट इट्स द ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग दैट यू शुड डू ओके somehow people go you know reverse about it they have to go for option buying first okay yeah yeah i think so at least uh, you say uh, you gave that order and you say that are you open to teaching right my my point is whenever i go to a crowded place or uh, functions and all so if somebody asks what do i do i don't say i do trading and all exactly <laughs> exactly I, exactly exactly you know you know right now just like got my home renovated and i put a chart there i think you might have seen it okay on the wall now people come and they say 
यू नो मेरे देवर हैं ही ऑल्सो डज इट होता क्या है बहुत ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट है हमें तो समझ में नहीं आता आप इतने बोरिंग इंसान हो यू हैव हैबिट ऑफ नॉट आंसरिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन बिकॉज़ आई डोंट वांट टू टेल दैट आई एम अ ट्रेडर सही आई मीन व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड यू नो गेटिंग सोशल अबाउट इट दैट आई एम अ ट्रेडर मेरी कॉलोनी के चार अंकल आए मेरे पास दे दे उन्होंने मेरे से पूरे शाम तक गप्पे मारी और एंड में मुझे आके देखे गए लॉस हो जाएगा मत करना डूब जाएगा That's where, <laughs> anyways, anyways, that's where I don't get into any debate, right? Yeah. I mean, कुछ भी बोलो वो डिबेट स्टार्ट हो जाता है वेदर यू नो दे स्टार्ट डिबेटिंग लाइक यू नो वी वन कैन डू इन स्टॉक मार्केट ट्रेडिंग और नॉट आर दे विल से दे विल गिव एडवाइस यू नो स्टॉक मार्केट बोथ एंड एंड हर किसी का डिमेट अकाउंट होता है हर किसी का पोर्टफोलियो बना होता है बट हर किसी को ये बोलेंगे कि लॉस होता है इसीलिए आई डोंट इवन से इट ओके so so that's about options options buying buying right mm-hmm. you know know with the the same rule they they can do options buying, but they should know how to manage the proper uh, you know, money management roles और टाइम डीके को कैसे लेस इम्पैक्ट लेना वो यू नो पीपल शुड नो ऑल दिस थिंग्स दैट इज माई राइट सो अगेन इफ यू लुक एट द सेम यू नो चार्ट द फर्स्ट विथ फर्स्ट कैंडल थियरी दे कैन अप्लाई द लॉजिक यू नो स्पेशली लास्ट टू वीक्स पे निफ्टी और बैंक निफ्टी सभी बहुत वॉलेटाइल थे सो इफ यू लुक एट द फर्स्ट कैंडल थियरी एंड इफ यू लुक एट आर एस आई फोर्टी सिक्सटी रोल दे वुड हैव अवॉइडेड द ट्रेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू नो नो इट इज वेरी ईजी टू असेस द डायरेक्शन नो पूरा व्यू देखने के बाद इट इज वेरी ईजी टू असेस द डायरेक्शन बट इन द लाइव मार्केट इट इज वेरी डिफरेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर डे सोचो ये बाइंग देख कर पीपल विल बी थिंकिंग टू टेक ए लॉन्ग ट्रेड राइट या सो आर एस आई देखो सिक्सटी के ऊपर नहीं है सो इफ यू जस्ट फॉलो दिस रूल दे वुड हैव अवॉइडेड द ट्रेड सो दिस फोर्टी सिक्सटी रूल वॉट वॉट इट डज इज इट हेल्प्स अस टू पिक वेरी गुड डायरेक्शनल ट्रेड्स ऊपर साइड आर डाउन साइड सो इफ यू जस्ट फॉलो दिस रूल इट इज वेरी हेल्पफुल टू पिक दैट गुड आर नो अल्ट्रा सक्सेसफुल ट्रेड्स सो इधर भी इट इज हेल्पफुल राइट राइट या जस्ट वन क्लैरिफिकेशन दिस पर्टिकुलर इंट्राडे सिस्टम इज like waiting for a trade to come to you it's not a scalping like of thing aapko sirf achhi trade leni hai jab aayegi yes and scalping i don't prefer or i don't suggest right i have done scalping as well but when we start at 9:15 by 12 12:30 you know it will be exhausted i mean uh, energy nahi rehta body mein mind pe no we will be tired actually बहुत so, सबसे सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम जो इस इस स्ट्रेटजी के अंदर आनी है एंड आई आई एम सेइंग इट आउट लाउड एज अ ट्रेडर वो ये है कि व्हेन यू सी योर पर्टिकुलर आरएसआई बिटवीन दिस फोर्टी एंड सिक्सटी बैठना है ऑर्डर पंच नहीं करना दैट इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज दैट आपने स्टार्टिंग में बताया था कि दैट्स माइंड थिंक दैट्स थिंक उसको हमारा माइंड को उस क्लैरिटी होना चाहिए इधर भी इधर भी देखिए ये कैंडल सो आफ्टर लुकिंग एट दिस मेनी पीपल विल थिंक बाइंग है नो ऊपर जाता है प्राइस नो आज बुलिश इज फ्यू लुक एट दिस डेली चार्ट दिस विल बी लाइक अ हैमर राइट इट्स अ कैंडल इट्स लाइक अ हैमर डोजी सो पीपल थिंक आज से नो प्राइस ऊपर जाएगा लेट बट इफ यू लुक एट द फर्स्ट कैंडल सी आरएसए आरएसए बीच पे है इन द एसएसए विद सो चॉप जोन या चॉप जोन चॉप जोन आ गया ना एंड मैं थोड़ा एग्जांपल यही दिस इज आई थिंक बैंक निफ्टी या बैंक निफ्टी सेम थिंग विद बैंक निफ्टी इफ यू लुक एट यू नो आर एस आई सिक्सटी ब्रेकआउट उधर से अच्छे से ऊपर मूव आ चुका है एंड फोर्टी सिक्सटी के पीच पे यू नो इंडिस्ट्री मूव रहता है इधर देखिए इधर भी देखिए सिक्सटी के ऊपर ये थोड़ा एक्सेप्शन है आई मीन अगेन आई विल नॉट से दिस इन हंड्रेड परसेंट सक्सेसफुल स्ट्रैटेजी रोहित अगेन देर विल बी सम विपसॉस देर विल बी सम एक्सेप्शन इवन विद दिस स्ट्रैटेजी so this is an exception and here either se dekhiye 60 ke upar chala gaya idhar se price upar chala gaya idhar bhi again we should define a strategy again uh, i am not giving any uh, 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 rule uh, to trial the stop loss or for exit because my point is one should do their own hard work and develop uh, trialing stop loss ka rule or exit ka rule or money management ka rule but so, with- aap kya use karte ho iske andar Yeah, I have developed an algo system for this. Uh, right? Okay, okay. So I run couple of uh, algo systems, directional and both non-directional. So I use ATR. Use karta hu. 
ATR uh, trial करने के लिए यूज करता हूँ समटाइम्स आई ऑल्सो लुकिंग एट द डिसिव पॉइंट आई विल एग्जिट यू नो फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द पोजिशन एंड कैरी रिमेनिंग फिफ्टी परसेंट ओके सो दर इज द ओनली टू रूल आई फॉलो राइट फॉर एग्जिट और ट्रायलिंग स्टॉप कस करने के लिए सो आई एक्सप्लेन दट सेम थिंग एज इट इज इन कपल ऑफ uh you know uh, youtube videos earlier youtube videos with other youtube channels so people can pick it as it is and us samane pe without this rsi ma it had 50% accuracy 1.4 or 1.5 profit factor tha so with this this is really good you know but i'm not giving the results because people should back test it then only they will realize the importance of it right okay fair enough एक फ्यू ट्रेड्स तो मैं सिंपली यू नो देख सकता हूँ सी ए फर्स्ट कैंडल के थियरी से ए बुलिश है ना या सो दिस इज अगेन भारत पेट्रोलियम फ्राइडे रोहित इफ यू लुक नो द डे बिफोर एस्टरडे सो इट गेव अराउंड फोर परसेंट मूव सो दिस इज फर्स्ट कैंडल है सो देखो फर्स्ट कैंडल आर एस के ऊपर क्लोज हो गया ना सिक्सटी वन सिक्सटी टू है या सो ट्रेंड लाइन ब्रेकआउट आप मानते हो ना या ये दो दिन हाई का ब्रेकआउट हो रहा है so the thing is controlling our emotions in between 915 and 930 to observe and to observe the close ye candle complete hone ke baad dekhiye ye breakout hai genuine breakout hai na yeah. first candle theory bullish hai rsi 60 ke upar close ho chuka hai so our entry should come above the high of the first candle what some people does is they don't wait until the break of the high of the particular candle okay they immediately they will take the trade so we should wait until it breaks the high of the candle our stop loss should be below the low of the candle the okay. candle which crosses above the 16 so either say you know they can follow etr rule etr 2 2.5x is best to trial the stop loss at intraday level in 15 minute chart or they can also use 21 period moving average uh, to trial the stop loss it also works in a similar manner or they can use any other method uh, to trial the stop loss or they can use one is to exit method be used kar sakte hai right is this clear right i mean do you yeah. have any question absolutely or? absolutely it makes yeah. total sense actually yeah yeah they can use atr super trend or you know they can use any method to trial the stop loss and again with exit also uh, you know uh, again bahut sare log bahut sari emotions ko feel karte hai you know whenever they want to trial their position actually so based on their method they can uh, pick any exit method but if they pick any exit method they should back test it against a few years of historical data right that's where people feel lazy and they don't do it okay and that's where they lose the edge actually without back testing uh, a strategy they start taking the trades so this is one more example right hindle coins okay aap mante ho na ye trend line breakout bhi ho raha hai exactly exactly aur uh, first candle a doji a first candle is is din ka so doji ka matlab indecision hai aur rsi is 40 ke niche chala gaya idhar 37.8 is candle so entry should come below the low of this candle stop loss should be above the low of uh, uh, the breakout breakdown candle right so again from here to trial they can use their own uh, uh, trialing stop loss method right it actually makes a lot of sense yes so the same concept can be applied in positional trading or btst trading with a different time frame hourly time frame pe nahi to daily time frame pe nahi to weekly time frame pe bhi people can do this for investment okay and this is one more example ye friday ka example hai vipro that is a purana example tha vipro has given uh, you know some good returns on that particular day uh, again ye dekho rohit first candle it it appear like a bearish candle but this is the previous day high right so price sustained above previous day high and right and it didn't break uh, the high i mean okay i will tell you one more thing right see ye previous day ka high hai na yeah ye previous day ka low hai na yeah so what it indicates right previous day high or previous day low uh, a good point from where if market goes it will it will try to bounce from that particular point yes so in simple point right this indicates the last buyer right last yeah. buyer yeah this indicates last seller right yeah yeah suppose after the market close 
from 330 to tomorrow morning 915 if there is no fundamental change about uh, wipro price should stay within the same range right do you agree yeah okay so if that was the case price would have opened here right is is level pe open ho chuka tha yeah but price opened with a little gap right so it is open with previous day high so what this indicates is there is some bullishness happened overnight. Up month, yeah. If that is not true, then it should have continued in the entire you know previous day range, right? It should have started trading in the uh, previous day range. But that didn't happen. Four candles they got three candles they it stayed above the previous day high. It indicates somewhere fundamentally shift happened overnight. Yes, yes. Business has come. Yeah. So candle pe dekhi RSI 60 ke upar chala gaya. Yeah. So if they would have taken you know long trade here or first candle ka ebo with the styling stop loss of this, it would have been a good profit. Yes, this chota mota profit karne ke liye nahi hai, right? Ye bada profit karne ke liye to capture a good trend. Okay. Aap kuch puch rahe the. Uh, I am going to do some experimentation on this. Hmm. Uh, I think I can draw here. Okay. What I am going to test myself is uh, in the coming days when I am going to take these intra intraday trades, I want to do a lot of experimentation on trading. I think that is the way I have survived the markets. Okay. Always rediscovering myself. Okay. What I am going to do is I am going to put this particular trend line. Uh, I'm going to take a trade when it breaks above this particular level. I'm going to take my entry. Mm. I'm going to put my stop loss at this particular point. Mm. Probably I will put a 20 EMA, mm. which will give me a pullback levels. Yes. And for trailing stop loss, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the higher lows as a trading stop loss method that is what i am going to do personally hmm. once i'm getting into the market yes, yes i know the method is sound okay because after yeah. you know trading for such a long time i can feed few things okay hmm. so yeah please go ahead yeah you can do that right again uh dosra example like mahindra and mahindra so again this is uh, happened yesterday actually yesterday ka uh, chart hai. So it gave our rating around 3% uh, Again, uh, uh, this is uh, the previous day range, previous day range. So first candle opened with the previous day uh, high and it closed above previous day high. So somewhere it indicates fundamental shift towards bullishness, right? Yeah, exactly. The candle be bullish, right? Yeah. So RSI, the second candle pe 65 chala gaya. If Pella candle pay 60 can each eta, I think maybe 59 or 59.5 something. So, ye dusri candle pay 60 k 60 k upper chalaga. So, a long trade above the high of sec second candle or first candle with a stop loss of this. It so, makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. So, it's bullish. It's bullish. Yeah. All and, one has to do is just trade it. Yes. And now, our example is Friday ka example. Hai, sabhi Friday ka example is SBA life insurance. So, either be dekhi hai, uh, uh, you know, again, it, it is very, I mean, uh, it, it broke the previous day high actually. Yeah. 60 ke upar chala gaya. So, it's gone up. Yeah. And I it gave a nice trend also from 1460, from 1470, it went all the way to 1530. That's a 1520, that's a 2% move. And it's yes. very clean. Yes, it's very clean. That's the most important thing. Yeah. So this is helpful to capture very clean uh, trending moves. Very good trending moves. Not uh, the uh, normal moves. I think just logon ko index ke se bahar nikal ke aana uh, bhi kar sakte. My point is very simple, right? 9.15 se 9.30 tak amare paas bahut time hota hai. So we can use, uh, you know, uh, charting or any other platform, which shows the bullish candle on that particular day between 9.15 to 9.30. So 9.15 to 9.30 ke bullish hai toh, they can shortlist four or five stocks. Definitely they will get opportunity in one or two trade. 
मैं पर्सनली मुझे यू नो मैं डिस्कशन ही ज्यादा करता था पहले बट नाउ डेज आई शिफ्टेड कम्प्लीट यू नो मेजोरिटी ऑफ माई ट्रेड्स फ्रॉम ऑल गो एंड एन आर डेवलप सिस्टम सो आई डोंट डू मच ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्शन इन नाउ डेज बट अगेन आई डू इट इन ओनली इन इंडेक्स प्रस्पेक्टिव राइट आई डोंट डू नो डिस्क्रिप्शन ट्रेड्स इन स्टॉक्स नाउ डेज so this is one example a resource uh, page right uh, the whatever i explained rsi 40 60 ka rule is uh, from this book john hayden ka book the rsi complete guide and again he talks about uh, the divergence and hidden divergence as also if you uh, up- observe any uh, stock with a good uptrend you will see a lot of divergences but traditional divergences you should look for short trend but that is not a right thing to do you should look for hidden divergences uh, to look uh, to take a short long trend uh that's also a very useful concept but that is highly useful and beneficial for positional trading and swing trading so if okay. someone is really interested to do positional trading and swing trading uh then they can uh, read this book right okay okay and that's all that's all i wanted to cover right intentionally i have not shared the trailing stop loss and the exit rule right because my point is people should uh, work on the strategy uh, by they on their own actually if they do it by themselves then only they will get that conviction number one part and I, then the clarity i think you have shared i think you have shared because I, yeah you have shared because because when we are talking na uh, because look a trader in me is also you know uh, saying something uh, when the stock either it is intraday or either it is positional if it is trending वो नीचे आने की कोशिश नहीं करेगा एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इफ इट इज ट्रूली ट्रेंडिंग देन अ सुपर ट्रेंड देन एन ए टी आर देन अ मूविंग एवरेज विल जस्ट एक्ट एज अ पुल बैक पॉइंट सो दीज थ्री शुड बी इनफ फॉर एनी वन बट वट आई थिंक इज एनी बडी हु इज लर्निंग फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रेटेजी एंड दिस प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ योर्स शुड वॉच इट टू टू थ्री टाइम्स बिकॉज देर विल बी सम हिडन पॉइंटर्स that they will have to you know learn and then at least take 20 to 30 trades in in paper yes. and then understand what is actually happening okay yes. that is i think the gist of it yes yes correct you are right right anyway a, guys, what i'm going what, what i'm going to do is i am going to tag you in the description of this particular uh, okay. uh talk so okay. and i let people just comment on it about uh, what are their experience with this particular strategy and uh, if they have any follow up questions on that too apart from just uh, putting you an email also okay oh, yeah definitely that that's really great right i can also answer those questions not a problem